Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a auto refresher for Gaia in uh, a different programming language called Visual Basics. Now, this is aimed for people that already know how to do Visual Basics. Um, if you don't, it's it's a really simple thing, and I'm going to be walking you through it. So you probably should be able to pick up on how to do it. So before uh, I've created a new project, and before we start, we need to add one thing since we are dealing with um, dealing with uh, going to the internet and having a second to wait. We're uh, we're going to refresh and then um, have it wait a couple seconds, then refresh again, and then wait a couple seconds. Uh, we need to add a HTTP wrapper called Sleep Module. To do that, just go to like, just follow what I just did, and add it. Okay, so now we're good. We can start um, start to build um, our um, our bot. So we only need uh, three main things. So i all the first thing that you need is a button. I'm going to name it start because that's what it's going to do. It's going to start the refresh process. Just going to make it a nice large button. Uh, the next thing that I need is I'm going to need a label later on. Um, and I'm going to need a text box. Again, this is for people that know how to do easy things. It, well, you just drag and drop. You're just dragging and dropping here. so shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Um, then the third thing that, or the third main thing that I need is a web browser because that's what we're doing. We're going to browse the web and then refresh the page. Okay, so I have my label. I'm going to label it seconds to wait because that's what you're going to do. Um, so this is for user input right here. Seconds to wait. Um, so we're going to set this to five because we're going to say it's going to refresh every five seconds. Uh, you can set that to whatever you want, or you can set it while you're running the program. I pre I'm pre-setting it to five just because if they happen to hit start, I want it to already have a value. Um, that's nice um, for user input. If you didn't, if you just wanted it to refresh every five seconds, and it was this was for your personal use, and you know that you never wanted to do it otherwise, you wouldn't have to add this, and you would just change one thing. Uh, while we're coding, but uh, if you do want user input, then you're gonna have to add that. Okay, so um, before we hit the start button and code that, we have to code our form in general. So click, double click your form, and this will pop up with all the code. And where your cursor is, you're just gonna say web browser one dot navigate. So we're saying navigate to the following page and then you're going to put HTTP um, and you can imagine it's going to be Gaia online make sure you copy it completely if you don't it will not work okay so what is this going to do it's going to say upon the form load upon running the program it will load Gaia online I'm just going to debug that for a second and show you how it's going to work it's going to be a little bit slow because because um, I'm recording right now but as you can see it is loaded Gaia online uh, it's a very small box, so there's a lot of scrolling room. And you could log in right here, click log in, and then start the refresher. Um, so that's basically what people would use it for. Um, okay, so the next thing that we need to do is code the main function of our start button. So when they click start, what happens? Well, we need to we want to loop this program. So we want to say we want this program to keep refreshing until the user X is out of the program. There's no need for a stop button because um, we're just going to make it refresh until they're bored and just be like, okay, I'm going to X out. Um, so we want this to infinitely refresh, so we're going to say uh, the following. Do until, which is a type of loop, and then 1 equals 2. Um, this is this seems a little bit confusing, but really it's just a command and then a condition, and the condition is 1 equals 2. 1 will never equal 2, obviously, so that, that means that this condition will continue. So do until this is true, well this will never be true, so it's just going to continue to loop. It adds that loop right there. If it doesn't, make sure you add that. And so the on there's only two things you need in here. Since we've added our sleep module um, that I showed you how to do earlier, you just need to put seconds to wait, and then uh, we want the seconds to wait. if if you knew that you wanted to preset it 
um, as five always, and because you didn't want to add this text box, because you know you always want five, you just put five here or any other value. But um, since we have a, a value that the user could have inputted, we're gonna. This is uh, in this case text box one, and so we're gonna say seconds to wait is going to be the value of text box one dot text. And then we need to refresh the page, so we're just going to call our web browser again. And then, as simple as this, we're just going to say refresh. Okay, so what is this going to do? It's going to open the uh, guy online page. It's then going to um, just going to have the page open when the user clicks start. It's going to take however many seconds this is, wait for that long, then refresh then go back up and say is this true and then say nope still not true and then it's going to go through it again uh... refresh it you know wait five seconds uh... refresh wait five seconds or you know whatever this happens to be could be one two three you know any any numerical value and then it's just going to keep refreshing um, before i run it i'm just going to say that um, this program can easily get you banned if you input a value as such as one uh, the mods can easily see that you are doing something beyond human capabilities. It's pretty hard for a user to uh, refresh every one second. Um, so if you abuse this, you will most likely get banned. And I'm not responsible for uh, you using this. I'm just uh, helping you, showing you how to make it. So this is all you need. It's very little code. So I'm just going to run this and show you how it works. Again, I'm just going to be putting the uh, sleep module in the description. The rest I want you to figure out. So I'm going to change this to uh, 2 just because I don't want to wait that long. Um, I'm not logged in right now so um, see as you can see it's refreshing. The logo keeps popping up. Yeah, I, you probably can't hear it clicking but I can. It's refreshing. I just move the page it refreshes back. So obviously it's working the way we want it to. Um, again um, this is really all you need and make sure to not abuse this because you will get banned. Um, okay, so that's basically it about how to make an auto refresher for Gaia. Uh, I, hoped, I hope that you uh, understood this as well as I do. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll be glad to uh, answer them. Remember that all you need to type is basically this and uh, this loop right here because the rest of the stuff um, opens when you double click it. Remember, um, we're for this for this first code we are clicking we're not clicking the button, we are clicking the entire code or the entire form. And then for the uh, second little uh, code snippet, we are clicking the uh, start button. Okay, so uh, hopefully I can make other videos like this because uh, I know a lot of people like to hack Gaia. I mean this isn't much of a hack, believe me, but um but it's a it's a good beginner good beginner bot. Okay. Bye.